Welcome back to your English 1109 research presentation series. Part three of the series will introduce you to databases and evaluation. Databases should be your go-to resource for researching. Knowing how and when to use them will help you find strong, credible evidence for your papers. This presentation will compare the open web to library databases, help you understand how to evaluate sources of information, and identify the parts of a peer-reviewed article. Library databases hold scholarly articles that are not available to the general public and are more credible than most open websites that you might find with a Google search. A Google search is great for finding background information or getting quick facts about a topic. While you should never depend on a source like Wikipedia for your college research, it can be a place to get a quick understanding of a topic before moving on. Library databases, on the other hand, hold some of the most authoritative, scientific, credible information that has usually gone through a rigorous peer review process before being published. These databases are paid for by the library, but as a CSUB student, you have free access during your time here to some of the best information available. There are also some research databases that are freely found on the web, like PubMed and Google Scholar. These are limited and don't have as much information as a library with multiple databases, but they can be a great resource. So remember, while it's okay to start with a Google search, if you limit your searching only to what you find in Google, you'll miss out on some of the most important information that has been published on your topic. So start with the library databases. So now we know that the databases are going to hold really good scholarly material, but what does that really look like? What's the difference between scholarly and popular articles? We have two examples here. Can you tell which is which? Hopefully you paid attention in the last presentation. So you know that the magazine on the left with its flashy cover is a popular source. You're probably familiar with articles in popular magazines. They're all around us, but can you identify a scholarly one? Let's take a look at the parts of a peer reviewed article so that you can easily identify them in your own research. Most scholarly and peer reviewed articles will follow this same format. Title, authors, and author information will usually be at the beginning of your article. Then there will be an abstract, which is a quick summary of the full article. Make sure you read this first so you know whether or not the article has anything to do with your topic. After that, an introduction that explains the purpose of the study or scope of the article. Followed by a literature review, which explains how this new piece of information fits into what's already known on the topic and how the article will add new information to the field. A method section shows how a study was conducted, who the participants were, or how the information was collected. This is followed by results, so what happened in the study, then a discussion or analysis of what it all means. This will be followed by a conclusion. At the very end of a peer-reviewed scholarly article will be a whole list of references that were consulted. If you find an article and see that there are only two or three references, double check with your instructor to make sure it's an article that you can use because it may not be quite what you're looking for. While the structure of a peer-reviewed scholarly article is similar across disciplines, there are slight differences depending on your major. Research in history or English articles may look a little different than scientific studies from a psychology or kinesiology article. Keep this in mind as you move forward in your different classes. Now let's take a look at how you can evaluate the different sources of information you come across, both from the web and from databases. Whether you find a resource on the web or at the library, you want to always take a close look at the article so you can determine its credibility and relevance to your research need. Here are a few things to look out for. Authorship. So who is the author and what do they know about the subject? Timeliness. Is it recent material? Does your research area require the most current information available? Documentation. What kind of evidence supports their conclusions? Do they cite solid references? Content. Is the information basic or advanced? Do they fully cover the topic? And objectivity. Can you detect any bias? Was the information created to further knowledge or to state an opinion? These are some of the questions you might want to be asking as you read articles found on the web and the databases. It will help you decide whether or not they should be used as evidence in your own research. As CSUB students, you have so many resources available to you. Knowing how to evaluate information and identify scholarly articles will help you search for credible information both in your academics and in your everyday life. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to contact your assigned librarian for assistance.